Si querés hablar del mundo, habla de tu aldea. En cierto modo, el Saibal también es el mundo. Eso es lo fabuloso de esto. Cada uno de esos lugares se apropia de la herramienta. A veces es muy difícil eh, explicar qué es Saibal a una persona de otro país y ver los efectos que tiene en un pueblo concreto, en la vida cotidiana de las personas, puede dar una mejor idea de lo que es. Through Seibao and Plan Seibao uh, has great experience in developing the use of technology to support students. But I think more than that, uh, the, the Plan Seibao's development started very much with a technological focus. So technology is just a support to what we can do between people. What drew us to working with Plan Seibao was the long-term view that they take Um, and, for want of a better word, the joined upness, that marrying of technology, pedagogy, and hardware uh, over a long period of time, thinking about how best to get teachers to teach these things, how best to support the teachers, what the pupils need, wrapped in a, you know, um, a solution that gives them easy access via video conferencing to experts both within wider Uruguay or outside of Uruguay. Connectivity and platforms that give them sort of e-learning. I think that's what is brilliant about what Plans Tabal and Uruguay do is the sum of the parts creates more than the individual bits, if that makes sense. When it began, most people wouldn't know, but if they did know, they say, oh, that's the technology project. One computer for all students. That's about all they would know 15 years ago. Now they would say, our students are creating robotics. They're creating uh, projects that increase the environment. Uh, they're competing in international competitions uh, and they're winning the prizes. And there are other countries are coming. So the word of uh, knowledge about Cebal is now very widespread. Para nosotros es muy alentador escuchar eh, refer referentes mundiales comentar sobre lo que hacemos y, y, y ponernos como ejemplo en distintos lugares del mundo. Eh, pero para nosotros lo, lo, lo importante realmente es lo que sucede en cada pueblo de este país. The whole idea of boundaries and borders is what creates the other in the child's head. Education's real purpose should be to dissolve the physical boundaries, the mental boundaries. Education allows a child to understand their place in the world. I can point to a place, like, you know, a guided tour. Oh, this is the Eiffel Tower. This is Louvre. I know it. But when you love it, you understand it with your heart. You understand the stories of the place. A school is not just about knowing the place, but it's about loving it. I think when we don't notice the children in a tiny little village, we forget who we are. The stories of all of those unnoticed places make us realize that so much can happen with so little. There's been a, a, a competition or a tension between technology and teaching. And my impression is that uh, we have a succinct phrase that says, uh, pedagogy is the driver, technology is the accelerator. So we said, as long as you put pedagogy first, you will need technology. The teachers were one way direction to students, sit in your seats, take your notes, study this. So that, that were, their pedagogy was not very complicated, but it was not very appropriate for the new technology. So Sebel, what they set out to do was to, as they increased the use of the technology, 
they also developed the quality of pedagogy. They did both of those. It, with technology is one of the best things to do, is to make mistakes, get it wrong, learn from that, learn from others, and then to build. Um, and that's a change in mindset, again, which is quite scary, to be quite vulnerable in front of your class and not know all of the answers. Um, but that's what we want them to do, is really sort of explore and discover with their children. Learning was always said is more important than play. Uh, stop playing and learn. And then the research came along that said, students are learning narrow things. They're not learning how to work together. They're not having fun. They're not excited, all of those things. So they were missing this. And now the research on playing is very specific. If you don't do that part, uh, they will, they will uh, have trouble living. Uh, when you see the videos of the students doing the creative things in this initiative, uh, working in fish and plants and changing creation. This fantastic innovation, we've done filming or been part of that, uh, the production of creative work coming from the students, and I think the teachers have learned from the students, is, is phenomenal. And uh, we've never seen it on any, on that scale anywhere. So I believe the world needs more plancy buds. I think that the work they've done in such a small span of just 15 years has been remarkable. They've single-handedly changed the landscape of education in Uruguay with all their efforts, with their technology tools, with their publishing arm. Um, they're doing work with their heart, not just with their mind. I think by seeing what Plan Sibal does, I think it gives confidence to other partners in other parts who might be feeling a little challenged or might want success to say, oh, it's happening there, even I can do that. <laughs>